What's up? How are we doing? In today's video, we're talking all about newest holiday palette from Hourglass. So here it is. I picked up the deepest palette of the collection. So today we're going to apply it to one side of the face and then we're going to apply the last year tiger palette in the other side. Of course, we'll do some swatches. We'll compare to the elephant as well. And we'll just have some fun chit chatting about these beautiful shades and palettes from Hourglass. If this is your first time passing by, I am Gigi. I love to talk about makeup and new releases. If you enjoy that kind of content, click down there where it says subscribe and also come to my other socials for a little bit more beauty. And without further ado, let's begin. Hourglass palette, I decided to pick up only one. I picked up the darkest shade, so palette three, and I put it in this beautiful owl palette i have like an obsession with owls but like in cute things if i see a freaking owl i'll like <laughs> freak out and run but you know what i mean like i like it on a little plant you know owl planty pottery bin i love it in a palette i love it in a little decoration thingy don't give me the real one this one is super cute though let's go ahead and just appreciate this beauty let's take this off and look at her like she's just everything she's stunning and the inside gorgeous it looks rich it looks yummy it's stunning we get to that every time i film i think how can i make this review meaningful and i thought let's just do the tiger on one side which was the deepest of last year and let's do the deepest on the other side you know i don't know i also have the elephant but the elephant was the medium um in the category of last year and this is the medium against the deepest of this side so this is the new and you can see you know she's medium but she's dark so I'm happy very happy about that I was very happy last year and I applaud our glass for continuing you know continuing on that nice trend and making palettes rich enough for everyone let's get started on this side we have five new shades which is very nice and one repeat um, we have radiant light which is our finishing powder and these kinds of shades I like to use. Where is the brush that I want to use? I had it all lined up here, but somehow I always manage to mess it up. So we're going to start with this one. And I like to apply these powders. This shade was a finishing powder and it is perfect just to bring such a blur, you know, like blur in action to this side. I love their finishing powders. On this side though, we don't have a finishing powder. We do, but it's the deep shade and I'm gonna use it as bronzer. So I thought we'll use the same finishing on this side. So we have everything even, you know? So I just go like this. And I like it underneath my eyes. I like it pretty much everywhere. This is a blurring stunning powder. That one was Radiant Light. Up here we have this Coral Glaze Blush. Next we have Infinite Strobe Light. Next up we have the Bronzer, um, Solar Bronze, Mystic Flush, and Sun Beam. I believe Radiant Light is the, the only repeat shade in here. Everything else is new, which hence why this is the most unique and um, in my opinion the best buy because you're getting pretty much all new shades on the medium palette however there are few repeats and it looks so much so much like the elephant so if you already have the elephant from last year i think go for the deep i'm pretty sure this will be beautiful so let's go next with the bronzer so i'm going to just pick it up like this Hmm, she's cute. Oh yeah, she shows up, but not too much. This is our glass vibe always. You know, you're able to just apply and build up. They always give you a soft, you know, 
It's very soft, but she's there. You know, I'm bronzed. You can see, right? So beautiful. It is stunning. So blurring. Like, our glass, they just do it good. They really, really do. So here we're gonna use the finishing powder, which is this guy. So if you had deep complexion, this deep finishing powder was perfect because you could have used it as I used the first powder, which is very nice. But you can see that it's deeper, right? It's deeper than the one in the palette. We'll do swatches after, but this is newest. And then this is the elephant. It looks a little messy though. I do feel like, I feel like because it's darker, it could tend to go everywhere. So I'm just gonna clean out. Okay, that's better. Now, let's move on to blushing, my favorite part. We have two beautiful blushes in these this palette like I was gonna mix them up to be honest okay fine I'll use one and then the other one so I'll do this guy oh my god this is a beautiful color <gasps> look at this glow can you see oh yeah this is totally what I love it's totally my vibe I love this shade I'm in denial, even if fall is here, I want this blush. Now let's do this guy. Just a top, little outer action. Oh, okay, I want it on my nose too. Mm, I love it. <laughs> Look at that glow, guys. Look at that glow. Little towel right here, we'll clean. We'll clean her up in between. Now we'll do this blush on the other side because the other ones are just too, um, too orangey. Okay, this is looking, it's looking similar. This blush doesn't have as, as much glow as this side, but it, she's cute. She's deep, she's rich. Oh yeah, she has some glow. You see that? Just this guy we can use on our lids, but I already have brown. It's fine, I'll do it for you, even if it doesn't match my top. Whatever, I'll do it. Did you see how pigmented that was? Right? Cute. So we'll do the same on this eye. We have this copper shade. I'm gonna mix it with the orange so we're not looking so, so crazy. Look at that pigmentation. Excuse me. This was the Lion palette. Well, I mean, because I mix it with that orange, that orange is very bright. It looks a little brighter. So let's go back on this side. Oh, she cute. She is looking cute. Let me blend the edges. Okay, perfect. Next up, let's do this beautiful strobing shade. I'm gonna try to be good and just leave it up here. I'm always so heavy handed and I bring it all the way down and sometimes you guys don't like it. <laughs> I'm trying to demo something for you, okay? I'm gonna, I wanna show it to you all. I only have this much face, right? Okay, up to here. Okay, she's natural, she's cute. I'm pretty sure that if I applied it with a fan brush, let's try to do that. Mm. Let's do this guy. It's a little, has a little bronzer in there, but it's okay. Let's just try to be a little bit more precise. Okay, can you see that? Cute, but she's very natural. I think that lion is gonna give us more. So let's move on to this side next. I already cleaned up my brush. Oh yeah, this one is more 
more metallic and that's not for everyone so it's gonna be you know it's gonna be up to you this is more natural totally more natural but they're very I like to set my base and then I'll be back and we'll see what each palette did to each side of my face so a bit okay. bright friends and this was our completed look looking good friends looking very very good look at this cologne look at this side to be honest I remember loving lion when I reviewed it but I reached for elephant just a little bit more because I felt like I like these blushes you know it's just my preference I like my pinky blushes and I felt like elephant I mean lion was too copper orange right like only this she was good you know but other than that everything was so like warm and rich and for the holidays you know like fall yeah this is appropriate but I wear a pinky blush all year round I don't care it's fall time you know what I mean I never reach for orangey shades like this maybe once a year you know what I mean but now I'm loving owl I'm loving shade 3 because if you just ignore this and you're like me this is your girl. Like the bronzer is beautiful. The blushes are beautiful. The radiant, um, you know, the finishing powder is stunning. It's so, so softening and so blurring. It's beautiful. I think a lot of people can, you know, use this shade because it's just very, very natural and even if you have deeper complexion like you can just blend this out to be the most beautiful and softening you know brightening powder don't use it all over your face if you have deeper complexion we could totally use it underneath the eyes to bring that attention to the you know to the under eye area and i think it's gonna be stunning so I think this palette is outstanding, it's beautiful. I am so, so happy with this. I feel like with this, I don't need the medium shade at all. As I said, it just looks too similar to the elephant, which I already have. And this is just beautiful, I, I love. I love that they included a bronzer, a finishing powder, two beautiful blushes, and a natural highlighter. Like this highlighter, it is a strobing, it says, um, how are they calling these? This is metallic strobe powder, but I don't feel like it's extremely metallic. You know, it's more on the natural side, but you can see that he's there and, he, you know, he makes an, an statement, but not too much. And since we're doing all of this swatching, let's just go ahead and finish with all of the other powders. So this is the other blush. This is the other one. Can you see that glide? yeah it's a beautiful and soft formula now this is the bronzer which is beautiful it is a very very pretty i feel like rich complexions aren't necessarily you know scope with it i don't think but it may help you bronze up a little bit and it's going to depend on the brush that you use if you want something to really show up just use a very dense you know brush for that kind of situation so like something like this that is going to help you really pack that product right in there i think it will help um i did a very loose brush today because i wanted a loose application of the powder and i think that it was beautiful now let's just um Let's swatch the tiger so that you can see this guy in action as well The bronzer and you could totally see like this bronzer is is deeper. It's not a bronzer. It's a finishing powder Sorry about that. Then we have this other one which is a little highlighter and then we get a metallic highlighter Sorry for the awkward swatches, but look at that metallic I told ya the highlighter is very very potent, but I applied it loosely then we have a copper the orange and then lastly the other blush i'm sorry like <laughs> these swatches are so awkward 
I mean, I don't know. Okay, so these are them. I hope you're able to appreciate these swatches even though they're in such a bad angle. Um, I should have done it, you know, down here, but that's okay. I think you can see where I'm going from. The Lion has very metallic and strobing shades, um, but you can see how the only pinky you know, blushes, this one in here, you get two pinky blushes, but one is pink and one is more coral. Can you see that bright? It's beautiful. And all the blushes are very, very soft. And they just, there's something about our glass powders that nobody does, but they do. Like, really nobody does it like them. They're beautiful. Um, do you wanna see swatches of the elephant? Let's do the bronzer, which is very light. I don't know if you, can see so this is the bronzer let me take off my watch so you can see that these are way deeper than this and then the blushes let's see if they're similar to the ones in the new owl so these are more pinky you get a soft very soft like shimmery blush and then you get that a little bit more bright uh, let's do a better swatch so you can see there we go and then this this one okay that was a better swatch i'm sorry about that and then let's try to swatch the bronzer again just so I'm building up and then you get a beautiful highlighter which is also very 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 potent like the tiger and then you get two of those finishing powders which in this case i'm gonna swatch them it's pretty much here we have dim light and soft light and in the new one we have radiant light as a finishing powder and i feel like the radiant light has a little bit more glow you know than the others in the elephant palette already you guys so that's it for the swatching and comparisons as i mentioned i love this palette i think it's 100 percent worth it i think it's gonna be d holiday palette to pick up you know face palette to pick up the glass just does it so good their powders are so soft so blurring they just do such a beautiful job is this something extremely unique i don't know if you already have the tiger you know they look very similar you know if you only use the the corally shade on the tiger but if you never got your hands on the tiger i think this is totally stunning it is a beautiful um and i'm obsessed with it and i love i love the artwork in the palette i love that they're doing this and the others are so pretty as well but you know i'm not picking up more i mean i'm obsessed with these palettes and having them in my collection i will cherish these palettes for a long time i will never get rid of them i mean i have so many of the other holiday palettes here but i just you know there's just just palettes here i feel like i'm buying art you know what i mean because because it is like this is so beautiful it is so so stunning such a good job hourglass with these holiday palettes they're just drawing us in so now i would love to hear your thoughts friends what do you think of this palette what do you think of the two palettes that i applied which palette did you like better any comments are you picking it up I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you, friends, for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll catch you in my next one.